Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. The Fairview Files, episode zero. Oh, there's going to be more. Okay. Start a new game? Yes. Skip the intro. Do not skip. I've noticed that he's broken his theme. Those who don't know. Exactly. Detective Dahlia. Well, well. Look who finally decided to show up. Don't worry, I'll let you your delay delayed arrival, cause I'm nice like that. But just don't But just know that showing up late for your first day of work will usually get you fired, kid. Now then, down to business. Mara should change the way that she talks. There's something rotten going around here in Fairview. And you and I are gonna get to the bottom of it. Now, much like yourself, I'm not originally from around here. But this town's been on my radar for a while now. I've heard strange story after strange story coming out of this place. Not run of the mill strange stuff either. I'm talking downright paranormal shenanigans, kid. I've got the whole filing cabinet full of these crazy junk. Stuff you wouldn't even believe. And today we're going to start with... This one, subject, the McKinley Cemetery. Local legend warned to never, under any circumstances, drive by this place at night. Ghost sightings, strange sounds, and even reports of car keys suddenly disappearing mid-drive. I'll admit I was pretty skeptical at first, kid, but then my idiot nephew decided to take a shortcut home from work one night. Those who know, yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm playing the dumbass nephew. Ed. I'm kind of wishing that I didn't take the shortcut right around now. My keys just disappeared right out of ignition. Well, start walking. Really? It's not going to let me just walk on out of here? My god, this guy's a dumbass. He's stuck in front of a bloody cemetery. Wooden coffins are without risk. Black coffins house danger, but also what you seek. Our hands will point you to the key. So, wood is safe, black is danger. Got it? Oh, God. I think all this happened because I wanted to get home faster and eat my dinner. Tonight's chicken night. Right, your missing object lies inside the stone coffin of five. The keys are resting. Dig. Evil spirits reside here. Do not let them see you nor disturb their rest. They cannot enter the mausoleum. Right, so this is my safe house then. Blue orbs unleash energy. Use them to your advantage. Space. Okay. So I'm safe in here. Right. Yay! Well, I'm a dumbass. So, what? Stone coffin? Nothing. Wait. <sighs> the impish sounds of laughter ominously rolled over the McKinley Cemetery at night. The raids rejoiced for yet another unfortunate soul had now joined their ranks. The hapless businessman had attempted to save a few minutes of travel time with a simple shortcut. But winded up spending an eternity lost, listlessly walking the cemetery's grounds instead. Dumbass. Like his optimism of, hey, it's chicken night! Is it safe? Oh, it is. Yay! 
That big headstone near the entrance said I need five of these things. Guess I better keep digging. Don't click on that one, you dumbass. Ah, I see. It is... Shit. It's locked. I need un... Uh, I need five keys to unlock it, and I have one. Probably wasn't within my best interest. Oh shit, they're going that way as well. Need to keep my ears out. Because these things can go through the lines as well. I don't like that noise. That is the noise of moat. I mean the coffin with the hands. Because it normally just points me towards... Okay. So... Aha! Got a key. There we go. Oh, hi there. Aha! Boiled by a concrete building. Alrighty, now we've just got to keep on digging. Nothing. I'm guessing with each key I grab, it's going to get a bit more difficult. They have to move those free set of steak knives somehow. Mm. Just needing to move things around a bit. I mean, it's good that they're trying to do something, I guess. That was nearly a mistake, and so was that one. It was like spam click as well. coffin. Sir? Yeah, I'll open that one. No real pattern to them, is there? They just sort of pop out and do whatever it is they need to do. And yup. Glad I looked. <laughs> oh shit. Now you're gonna stop. Stop. Thank you. So you're a nope coffin. Aha! Hello. Thank you. Now are you gonna come all the way? Hmm. They're gonna be a bit more frequent now. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Thank you for the clips. Up on there. Nope. Yay, another orb. I 
Okay, I guess that's everything from the fourth row. Column, whatever you want to call it. You see, now I just don't know why he doesn't hop out of his car and walk home. Like, judging by how big some of these places are, like, it really can't be that far from getting home. And I think you'd make a bit more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, progress. If you just, you know, walk home. I'd also <laughs> like to point out that I thought the instructions was for me to use the item that's in my hand, right? The, the little horse orb thing to cleanse the coffin. No, I was just very lucky as to which one I had to pick up. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, hi. Buzz off. Ah, uh, so that's what the orbs of light do. Right, well. Let's grab that. And then get back to it. No. And be used. Go away. I don't want your NFTs. Pretty little lights all over the place. It's been a while since I saw some sort of a skeleton. Oh yeah, I did some of these ones, didn't I? That was almost bad. That too was also bad. I'll just wait for these two nice gentlemen to sort of get out of my damn way. At least there's a murmur as to what you need to do. Need to cook, no worries, enjoy your noms. Oh, come on, I really can't. What, what have I got now? I've, I need like one more. I think I need one more. Really can't be that much left, is there? It's getting busy here tonight. Oh, hi, Frank. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to Coffin 3B. Oh, what's going on that way? Oh, Jeff is playing some Skull and Bones. Want to come along? Yeah, okay. I'm like, wait, I got out of there in time. Holy 
shit. And that's all the rest of this one done. I thought that one was pointed towards me for a second. <laughs> we do not need that. Hey, a little orby thingy. All right, time for me to come down, come down here and uh, dig up just a few more little coffins. Although I still find it oddly strange that all of these coffins are completely and utterly clean. But so. Come on. Nothing here, nothing there. Whoop. They really don't have that much of a... Like a range to them now, do they? Damn, they really are just all over the place. Nothing. Right, so the last one has to be in this lot then. Guess I better get started. It's nice that they do have the lighting effect, honestly. Gives you the ability to just keep going. Be able to somewhat see what's going on around you. Get out of here. Oh! Shit. Don't know why I'm doing this for. Come on! Ah. I heard what they left! I heard what they left! Uh. Oh, so you. That's it. Now I can unlock the stone coffin near the entrance. You won't be getting me tonight, spirit. I have a wife to get home to, and I have a job that needs me. And most of all, I have a delicious chicken that I want to eat tonight. You have no power over me, vile demons! My car keys! Wait, what? Just, just punched out a demon. Well, guys, it's not. Having my chicken dinner. Get lost.
My nephew had better thank his lucky stars he made it back in home in one piece. He called me up later that night to tell me all about his ordeal. After he ate his dinner, of course. And that, and that call was the final straw for me. I finally had a first-hand account from a somewhat reliable source. I rented a movie van and made the journey out here the very next day. And now here we are. One strange town with a list of weird happenings as long as my arm. Come on, help me flush, uh, help me finish unpacking these things. And afterwards, we'll take a look at my next file. Yeah, we definitely got our work cut out for us. But you know what? I think you and I are going to get along just fine, kid. Nice. I did it! <laughs> oh, instead of a star, it's just complete. Huh. Alrighty. 